Welcome back to our next session as we continue to build on what we're doing here. I want to encourage you that we're going to start looking at in this session, what is your next step from here? And then counting the costs and stepping into the journey. You know, what are obstacles you're going to face and you know, why many don't go because of these obstacles. And my challenge to you is that, and my question to you early is that, are you going to go? And so I challenge you, let's make this next step together, okay? All right. Now, we're also going to learn, you know, why many don't make this next step is that they have these old shame stories in their head that hold them back. Now, the shame stories are not accurate. We've already covered that. I mean, they're lies that we have embraced and, 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 and held on to. Us. It's held you back from what you really wanted all your life. Now, we want to ask yourself, what price are you willing to pay to have the longing of your heart? I want you to ask yourself, that's a really important question. How much, what, what would you be willing to do? What are you willing to, what obstacles are you willing to overcome to have this long in your heart? Nobody else is going to do this for you. You're not going to get it in a gift wrap package. You're not going to, this is something you each have to choose. And you both need to think it through. What price are you willing to pay to have the longing of your heart? And I encourage both of you, if you're two watching this thing together, is that you got to ask yourself, you know, what are y'all willing to do? At what expense are you willing to go to? What intensives? How much counseling? What, what kind of support groups? What are you willing to do to have this line? Because it's just not going to just happen. <laughs> you know, look what you got where you got because, you know, it just happened, right? Okay. Now, all boundaries need consequences. The reason why we don't do consequences, oftentimes we resist following through with consequences because, you know, we end up just, you're not going to do this, and we threaten, and we stomp our feet, and we... We say we're going to do this, that, and the other, and there's no backup to what we say. And most often we resist following through with these consequences mainly because of the fear of our shame story. The fear. Now, if you look at the shame story, which we're going to look at in a few minutes, if you'll break down that shame story and where it takes you, and it does it in a nanosecond, it's like that lower part of your brain. Remember the monkey and the alligator? They know the story by heart. And when you're faced with a possibility of, a consequence backfiring on you or you not liking the cost, then that monkey now they're going to take off with you. And it's, it is not good. It, it is not good. Now, if you could stop that, then you can follow through with the boundaries and consequences you set. You can change your life. You can have a radical transformation of relationship and life. Get that. Now, remember shame is, always has been, and always will be your enemy. It's not that other person in your life. It's not somebody in your past. It's the shame that has hijacked the lower part of your brain and is running off with you right now. That's what cripples you. That's what keeps us in prison. That's what you know, it, it prohibits us from achieving the dreams we want and long for, the longing of our heart, which we deserve. We're worthy of that, to be loved and to be cherished and to care for and to be safe. Now, when shame hijacks our brain, we go down the rabbit hole. Now, remember what I said earlier about going down the rabbit hole. When we go down the rabbit hole, we become children. We're somewhere back there in our early trauma. We're six, seven, eight, nine, somewhere before ten. And we don't know as a child how to set boundaries. And so we fold. So knowing that when we're down the rabbit hole is really key and important to come back out Stay in our adult self and follow through with some of these things. That's one of the big steps. That's one of the big hurdles you got to do. Then the next is is to realize the key concept in all of this is master keeping that trap door of yours open. Then, as you continue to work this and to continue to build your vision, you put the tools of your recovery and you put the, all the the gifts of 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 your healing and your process of your counseling and everything else. You begin to put it all together. If you keep that trap door open. I will guarantee you, your life will change. <laughs> You're constantly in, in access to your adult, that smarter part of you that makes a whole lot better decisions than that monkey or alligator. Yeah. So remember, key concept, keep the trap door open. Now, I have an assignment for you, and this is going a lot more work involved in this than what I'm going to do uh, you're doing more work now. I want you to work. It's got to be your work. I can't do this for you. 
I want you to think back over maybe months, years, however long you want to, but the last times, more recently probably, the last times you threatened somebody or you tried to set a boundary to get them to behave a certain way that someone in your life that didn't have any, con either, but, but you didn't have any consequences. And you didn't follow through with what you said. How many times have you just threatened people in your life to change their behavior so you feel better and then you don't follow through with anything? They begin to think of this. You're just uh, barking, but you have no teeth. You have no bite. You don't follow through with what you say. And so the misery you may be experiencing, this is something I had to learn. The misery that I experienced earlier in life was not anybody else's fault but mine and not being able to maintain, set boundaries, maintain them, and follow through with whatever consequence would keep me safe. It would help me achieve the vision of at least myself, if not in a relationship. And I had to own that. That's my deal. And I'm challenging you. you this is where you got to take ownership. And the next thing I want to do is this. I want you to think of what if, what if you did follow through? What would happen? Now write that down. You know, okay, you set the boundaries, you have a consequence, and it's like, well, then in your mind, what's the story of the what if? If you did follow through with a consequence, you said, what would happen? I want you to write that down, and then I want you to ask yourself, what would happen next? And write that down. Now, you keep doing that. You say, okay, what would happen next? Write that down. Then if that happened, then what next? And carry it as far as you can go. Maybe you end up as, a, as an old person, lonely, and you know, nobody cares about you, and you end up dying. Okay, Carry it all the way, whatever. Carry it all the way. Now continue that process until you've carried the story all the way out to its end. Now I'm going to tell you, doing that, you're going to find that somehow or another as you get to this end, and you, then you look at the story you wrote. Now ask yourself, is this story about me really true? Think this thing through. This story that you run with, I work with so many clients, and sometimes I says, okay, where did this go? And if that happened, then what would happen next? And they carry it all the way out, on, out and then eventually I says, now ask yourself, in your adult self with the trap door open, is that story really true? Most every time they'll say, no, that's not true. That's that, that, and, and even if this happened, I'll be fine. Now, this is what I want you to do. This is your assignment to work through and, and work out, you know, what is it that you want to do. Now, we're at the end of this session. Once again, I'm telling you, I'm encouraging you this week, there's a lot of work you've got to do. I'm encouraging you to go ahead and go through this. Sit down and think through, maybe use a recent event where you set down a boundary but didn't fall through with anything. And then if you had, what's the story in your head that would have happened? And what would happen if, you know, where does that story lead you? Oftentimes, remember, that monkey and alligator have that story down pat, and they can run with it so fast that you end up down the rabbit hole <laughs> before you have any idea. And but guess what? The, remember, that alligator and the monkey part of your brain is not a very smart part, and they're going to have you dead in some awful situation, and it's not even true. So go with this. Spend time with this, and I'll see you in the next session.